Hello and welcome to Life is Chemistry. How is life chemistry? What is the connection between the two? We say we are different from a rock, a car, a table or chair. They are not living. We are living. We have life. What makes a living being different from a dead or a non-living thing? Now the obvious answer is that living things breathe, eat, grow, move, reproduce and have senses. Non-living things cannot do all these things. They don't have senses either. But what is it that makes something living at the first place? What exactly is happening at the micro level when you do all these activities as a living person? And what is it that is missing in a dead or a non-living thing? Is the material they both are made of, that is their building blocks, same or different? If their material is same, then how can one set of material be living and another set of the same material substance is non-living? Let's have a look at the material they are made of. You know, the whole universe is made up of Panchatattva, the five elements, earth, water, air, fire and ether, which are ultimately forms of matter and energy. Matter is what everything, living or non-living, visible or invisible, is made up of. Now, what is matter made of? Atoms. And atom is the smallest stable bit of matter. Atom is further made up of subatomic particles, protons, neutrons and electrons. In nutshell, you and me, animals, plants, bacteria, rocks, water, soil, air, table, chair, houses, roads are all made up of atoms. Atom is our material substance. The shape, structure, motion and the laws of material substances is physics. That is why we say material things are physical. The universe is physical. Like I say, I was physically present there. What I mean is my body, my matter, my atoms, my material substance was present. Physical comes from physics. Atoms of pure substances occur in nature and we call them chemical elements. You know some of them like hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, potassium, etc. So, the material substance of everything, including us, is chemical elements. Both are made up of the same set of chemicals. Material same hai dono ka, dead molecules. Lekin ek mein life hai aur dusre mein nahi. To difference kya hai life and non-life mein? Chemistry. Don't worry, I am not going to talk about the type of chemistry experiments you did in your school chemistry lab and which probably was the most boring thing to do. We will be talking about the chemistry which is happening inside your body, even right now and because of which you call yourself a living being. Pehle dekhte hai, chemistry actually kya hoti hai? Basic chemistry happens when matter that is atoms interact atoms of one chemical element interact with the atoms of same or different element with the involvement of energy of course and they are transformed into a new different substance and we say a chemical reaction has taken place this is simple chemistry or atoms interact kaise karte hain? They form bonds with each other by sharing their electrons. Like there is an atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen come to join it and share their electrons with it. What do we get? Water, a new substance which is neither hydrogen nor oxygen, both gases. It's water, the liquid. Similarly, an atom of carbon, a solid, bonds with two atoms of oxygen, a gas, and we get carbon dioxide, again a gas, 
and completely new substance. This is what chemistry is. Transformation of matter. One substance changes to a completely new substance. Chemical change. So atom and electron is physics. But exchange or sharing of electrons between the atoms is chemistry. And this chemistry when happens inside a living organism like our own body, we call it biochemistry. Bio means life. Now, is chemistry of non-living things different from the biochemistry happening inside a living being? Dono hi chemical systems hain aur same chemical elements se bane hain. Same chemicals hain jo khud non-living dead molecules hain. Lekin aapas mein react karte hain aur materials like water, carbon dioxide, salt, sugar, rocks, mountains bante hain. Aur wo hi chemicals hain jin se hum bane hain. To kya ye chemicals hamari body mein kuch alag टाइप की केमिस्ट्री करते हैं वो ऐसा क्या और कैसे डिफरेंट करते हैं कि लाइफ की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आ जाती हैं डू दे ऑर्गेनाइज देम सेल्व इन सम स्पेसिफिक अरेंजमेंट्स और यूनिक स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट दे बिकम द मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ लाइफ और उनके पास ऐसी कौन सी एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन या इंस्ट्रक्शंस हैं दैट दे आर एबल टू डू थिंग्स डिफरेंटली और जो एक नॉन लिविंग थिंग के एटम्स या मॉलिक्यूल्स में नहीं है बट देयर एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी केमिस्ट्री इज द रीजन देयर इज लाइफ आर वॉकिंग टॉकिंग ब्रीदिंग ईटिंग स्लीपिंग थिंकिंग इवन डूइंग नथिंग आर ऑल सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नेटवर्क ऑफ फाइन ट्यून्ड बायो केमिकल रिएक्शंस making and breaking bonds between the atoms of these complex biomolecules of life and producing energy. These reactions are not alive on their own. Life comes only when all these hundreds of reactions work together, not helter-skelter, but in very orderly and very tightly controlled manner. So life is a process. A mechanism and our body is actually a living machine made of chemicals constantly doing chemistry. To look at, we look static, nothing seems to change. At molecular level, we are not at all static. Our matter is continuously changing. There is a regular flow of material and energy. Molecules are being broken down and new molecules being formed. In fact, being a living being itself means to be able to transform matter and which happens with chemistry. And if these interconnected biochemical reactions continue, we are alive because chemistry is happening. The moment chemistry stops, we are dead. So now we know that atom is our smallest unit, but it is a dead thing. So our smallest living unit kya hai? That is a cell. We are a collection of cells, trillions of cells, but made up again of the same dead atoms and molecules. But cell is alive. How? These molecules get assembled and organize themselves into very large molecules of complex shapes and sizes and enclose themselves with a boundary called cell membrane to become a separate chemical system called cell. And it is at this cellular level where the chemistry of life takes place according to the physical and chemical laws of nature. All our body functions, breathing, reproduction, metabolism, eyesight, smell and taste, learning and emotion, feeling pain and pleasure, they are all life processes and they actually occur at the molecular level in our cells. 
so life is chemistry of our molecules happening at the cellular level now let's take a look at the molecules of life first and then we will see how are they organized starting from electron at one end and a living human being at the other end the smallest level is atom like one carbon or one oxygen two or more atoms combine to form a molecule like carbon dioxide water and several molecules combine and react with each other to form larger and more complex molecules and which further join to form still larger and longer chains of molecules with the different shapes and sizes and the most important of these four types of macromolecules the first one is the proteins which are long chains of amino acids joined together and the second type of molecule is nucleic acids called dna and rna which are formed when nucleotides join together the third type is carbohydrates which are chains of many molecules of sugar like glucose joined together and the fourth one is lipids or fats which are the polymers of triglycerides these are the macromolecules molecules of life hamare cells aur unke andar ke sab organelles inhi molecules ke bane hain so we have moved from a dead atom to an individual living cell now what comes next in the chain of organization which is also not at all random it is very specific cells which perform similar or related functions they combine to make tissues like muscle tissue nervous tissue and one or more types of tissues together form organs like heart lungs liver etc and one or more organs when work in a connected and coordinated manner they form organ systems like circulatory system nervous system digestive system etc and all the organ systems when work together in coordination it's a living being that is us together we make up a population a population makes communities which when interact with each other form an ecosystem and then the biosphere and in this whole chain the smallest level which is living is the cell just me the molecules of life chemistry karte hain ye break hote hain aur naye molecules bante rehte hain or in the process energy to sustain life is generated and the life continues thank you stay tuned for the next episode and keep on exploring the chemistry of life till then